Hello, and welcome to Nextstar's video series on the Salesforce Developer Workbooks. In this track, we'll be walking you through the Visual Force Workbook. This video covers Tutorial 10, Creating and Using Custom Components. Up until this point, we've only been using the standard Visual Force components, such as Apex Data Table. Visual Force has many of these components, but there may be instances where you want to create something new. A custom component would allow you to do that. Unlike our tutorial on page templates, custom components can have their own attributes, dynamic appearance, and controller-based logic. Basically, custom components allow you to extend Visual Force in whichever direction you wish. That's what we're going to talk about in this tutorial. To get started creating a custom component, we're going to go under Setup, Develop, Components. And we're going to click New. We're going to label this boxed text. I'm going to set that as the label and the name. Here in the Visual Force Markup tab is all the code that makes up this Visual Force component. Everything within the Apex component tag is related to this component. So to get started customizing our new component, first I'm going to add an attribute. I'm going to add an attribute named text. I've added a description and a data type and also that it is required. So I've defined that piece of data associated with the component. The next attribute I'm going to define is called border width. So I've set that as an integer. That's also required, and it reflects the width of the border around this boxed text component. So that's the data associated with this component. Now I'm going to go ahead and add some HTML to reflect how this component will be rendered on our Visual Force page. This HTML here actually indicates how the component will be drawn on a Visual Force page. It describes a div that has a border that is red and solid with a width indicated by the component attribute border width, and that the body of the div contains the text that is stipulated in the text attribute. So we're going to go ahead and click Quick Save. And now the next step will be to incorporate this component in a Visual Force page to show how this looks. So to demonstrate our new component, we're going to go ahead and create a new Visual Force page. call this page custom, click create. Down in the page editor, we're going to show two examples of this custom component. So we're saying this is a component called box text with two of them, one with border width of one, and the text says example one, and one with border width 20, and text says example two. So if we save this, we'll see what our new component looks like. And as you can see, our box text component is text in a box. The first one is an example of a border width of one, and this is an example of border width of 20. But that should illustrate how we can create our own Visual Force page elements with, with attributes in HTML to control how they look, feel, and work within our force.com environment. The last thing I want to show you is that any custom components you create will actually show up within the component reference. So if you look through the component reference, any custom 
components you create are automatically documented within the component reference. So you can always go back and check even within large visual force projects. That's it for our tutorial on creating and using custom components. In our next video, we'll cover tutorial 11, updating visual force pages with Ajax. Thank you for joining us. For more great content, click to follow us on Google+. Thank you.